Hey guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to say a big shout out and a thank you to everyone who subscribed so far um, based on the first video. And um, sorry, it's been a while, but uh, life's been hectic. So this is the second video. Today, I'd like to talk about how to reduce shine on black skin uh, using three techniques. Two are going to be techniques that you can use on set. And then the final one is going to be using a post-production technique in Resolve Studio. So stick around, stay tuned, and let's learn something new today. Technique number one, on-set makeup. So the standard protocol when filming is to apply makeup to the artist. This is either to create a look, to beautify the artist, or to control shine, and sometimes all of the above. So whatever budget you have, try and get someone to do the makeup on your talent. Whether or not that's a talent doing their own makeup or you hire a professional makeup artist or perhaps you have a friend that can do the makeup for you. So the second onset technique is using a circular polarizing filter. So polarizing filters are normally used to reduce reflections through glass, through water. Well, the interesting thing is that you can actually rotate it and find the angle of rotation that helps you to reduce the shine on skin. I've done a very quick and dirty test here. I'm in my bathroom and I'm rotating the filter. And if you focus on my forehead, you'll see that it's initially shiny. And then as I rotate it, you see the shine reduces. How clever is that? That's very neat. And now I'll just rotate it back in the opposite direction and you can see that the shine returns. There you go. And if we do this again, this time we'll put false color on. And if you notice this, you can see the exposure changing on my forehead, but yet you're not seeing any change in exposure it's in the lights above. That's the incredible thing about using a polarizing filter. It can just remove the shine, but still the portions of the image that need to stay illuminated are still illuminated. So the third method I'd like to talk about is using a post-production technique in DaVinci Resolve. So let's hop over into Resolve and take a look at that. So we've got a clip here. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of shine on our forehead there. In the previous video, I described how this is a color managed space. So there's literally no LUTs or anything being used to convert this from Blackmagic RAW, which is what I shot it in to Rec 709, which is what we're looking at. Okay, so what, what do we need to do? We need to add the effects up here. So let's search for face refinement. Okay, so let's put the face refinement on there. Okay, cool. So the first thing we need to do is let's analyze. The first thing we need to do is hit analyze and it will do what it says on the tin and it's analyzing our face. Even though I'm not quite sure why it's only doing that bit of a face, but anyway. Okay, great, done. Right, uh, so let's uh, remove show overlay, just so that messy bit is gone. All we need to look at is shine removal down here. So if we increase it, you see it's actually reducing the shine on her, actually just there on her, on her cheek and her nose. So, okay. What I think I would do is um, I'm going to just analyze again. So like I said, the show overlay just, it didn't quite, it didn't quite pick up her face properly. So what I'm going to do is analyze it again. So I'm just going to reset that, uh, put the face refinement back on there, um, put the show overlay, but I'm going to hit analyze again. So I expect it's going to do the same thing because it's only analyzed that part of a face. Perhaps that's a limitation with uh, Resolve if the person is lying on their side. It's not the AI doesn't quite work that well. But anyway, so if we apply the shine removal, you can see again, it reduces it. Now, obviously you can, you can do it halfway or just a little bit. It's like not so obvious or you can go full on shine removal like that. I mean, the thing is, if you if you did it like this all the way to the maximum shine 
the maximum effect. The thing is, if you did it to the maximum effect and someone didn't see what it looked like without the shine removal, they may think it looks natural, but you know, it's a matter of taste. Um, so that's one example. Okay, so let's have a look at the second example. We're gonna do exactly the same thing again. Face refinement, drop that on there, Bosch. And let's do the analyze. This one's a lot, this one's gonna work a lot better because we can see that they, it's actually tracked the face more accurately. So let's take the, um, sh the show overlay off and let's go down to shine removal. So this is how it is without processing. And let's do this and you see we've got we've got some shine removal so let's do a before and after here we are if we just kill that node you can see it's a big difference it's making there very very cleverly done very subtly done but lovely there you go so that's it and Obviously this clip is not graded and you just add this in before your main grade so that the shine can be included in the process. So you made it to the end. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you learned something new and uh, you got some value from the video. If you did, I'd love it if you could hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can share this with your friends and you could be made aware when there's more content being uploaded. So thanks again and let's go make some magic.